Hi, Valeria. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Ryan. How are Hi. you today? Good. How are you? Doing well. Doing great. I'm so happy to have you guys today, and I'm so happy to see so many people joining. Oh, my God. Um, Welcome. We're excited. Wow. 101 people. Hi, everyone. I'm Valeria Rivera. I'm with Study in the USA, and I'll be moderating today's session. TOEFL takes your questions live, brought to you by TOEFL. And we're so happy to have you join us today. As you know, Study in the USA connects international students with their dream schools. And if you have to take the English proficiency exam to apply to university, you might have heard of the TOEFL IBT exam, which, by the way, is accepted by 12,000 institutions worldwide. So that's a big deal. Um, today's 30 minute session is an amazing opportunity to have your questions answered. We have a few people that already submitted their questions beforehand, but we're also taking any current questions that you guys have. So if you have any anxieties, doubts, questions um, about the test, updates, whatever it is, we are here to answer them live. And well, let's kick things off by putting in the comment section your country's flag. I'm from El Salvador, so I'm going to get us started with that but we really wanna see where everybody is from. So it doesn't matter whether you're in the US or Brazil or El Salvador or wherever, happy to see where you guys are from. Um, also, before we begin, I'll remember again, we have questions before that were submitted before this, but feel free to put any, anything that you have in the comments. And also I wanna say that we will be giving a $50 Visa gift card to a special winner that in order to qualify, you must share a highlight from this session on your social media. The post with the most engagement will win the Visa gift card. So stay tuned, highlight whatever it is that you really like about the session, share it with friends, and you might win money. So that's amazing. Let's get started with the Q&A. Let's just get started, right Sherry right. Ryan. <laughs> <We're ready. laughs> All right, so the first topic that we have today is enhancements slash changes to the exam. Can we get started with you guys telling us about any new recent changes to TOEFL IBT? Sure, we're doing a lot of exciting stuff. Uh, we rolled out a bunch of new enhancements in July. Um, we've reduced the test time from three hours to two hours, which means you no longer need a break. Like we're, we're hearing people aren't even getting hungry during the test, they don't even need snacks. So the test is shorter. Uh, we reduced the, the reading section. Uh, we added a new writing task, writing for an academic discussion. Um, what else do we do? We've streamlined the instructions and navigation, and we have removed the unscored questions that we used to have in there for market research. Uh, so we re we've that, removed those as that's, well. That's my favorite. And just recently, to the TOEFL IBT experience, we have enhanced score reporting. So now with your scores, uh, you'll receive personalized feedback and deeper insights into what those scores mean so that if you are looking to get a, a, a different score or a higher score for your institution, for your dream institution, you'll now be able to focus your, your studies and you know, understand why you got the score you did and help you to improve to get your desired score. Right, once you get your scores, you can go into your TOEFL account and in there you'll get to see, you know, for each skill section, advanced, inter higher intermediate, lower intermediate, uh, you can dive into each skill section and see if you're demonstrating or developing certain skills. Um, we offer sample responses and all sorts of cool stuff in there. So, so definitely check it out. Awesome. Well, following that note, at David Sucrib asked us, can you explain the updates to the new writing format? Uh, sure. The new writing for an academic discussion task is it simulates an online academic classroom uh, where the professor will ask a question and uh, want your opinion on that question. Two of your classmates will, will give their opinions first and you'll be able to see those and then it's your turn to provide your opinion on a topic and support it with reasoning and examples. It's fun. Cool. Okay, yeah. so the following question that we have think. is, between which sections of TOEFL is there a break of 10 minutes? Right. So with the enhanced uh, IBT, when we reduced the time from three hours to two hours, there's no need for a break. It, it's so quick now that you <laughs> won't even need a break. So we removed the break to help shorten the length of the test. And we, we hope it, we hope the shorter test reduces anxiety, you know, reduces stress and really helps you focus. 
that is so cool that you guys did that as a former test taker myself i get so much anxiety so you guys this is amazing okay on the topic of managing time when should i take the toefl test so we would say a great time to take the toefl test is really dependent upon when you need your scores when are your deadlines taking the test from when you need your the scores two to three months out gives you enough time to prepare get your scores and retest if you need to right so giving yourself enough time to take a few practice tests, to take the TOEFL practice online, to, to experience real simulations, to get yourself familiar with the content, take the, take the test, get your scores, and be able to send them in time for your deadline. So about two to three months is a, recommend is a guideline for when we recommend to take it. Right, don't cut it too close. Remember that the scores need to be sent to the, the institution as well. Very important thing to remember. You don't want to take the test and just not send it. Um, at David Gamara Violin asks, what would you recommend to manage the timing of the exam? Uh, time management is vital to, to taking the TOEFL IBT. Um, we recommend, I was just speaking with uh, one of our researchers about this the other day, but uh, he recommended starting out with more time than you need, and each time you take a practice test or you, you practice a section, reduce that time each attempt until you're under the, the required time and you're, you're, used to, you're used to that kind of tight time window. Um, and also, uh, as far as just being able to focus for, for two hours straight, not everybody, not everybody is good at that, um, myself included sometimes. Um, so just, you know, when you go in there, just get used to focusing on one thing for, for two whole hours. Okay. That's great. All right. That's good <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the following question is, how strict is the time limit on the speaking section, and what happens if I finish before time? So during the speaking and writing sessions, you will have passages. So you'll have to read the passages or listen to the passages. So at that time, you can't skip forward. So you need to allow that time to, to go down. And then it's, I think it's about 60 seconds, and then you will have the time to write your answer. If you finish writing your answer, as soon as you're done, you can move to the next question, but you will have to let that passage time expire before you can answer. Okay. All right, so we got down how to manage our time. Now, when it comes to preparing for the exam, at Karimi36 asks, how do you practice for TOEFL? That's a really good question. We have really great answers here. <laughs> um, so we have a ton of official prep available for uh, to practice for the TOEFL IBT test. We just launched uh, not too long ago the TOEFL Go app and that is an experience where you get guidance, you get insights, it takes you through all four sections of the test, you get feedback, you have a coach, it's a really great experience. We also have the TOEFL practice online, which is a mock test. It's a simulation. It's as close as you're going to get to the real thing. So we really recommend taking the uh, TOEFL practice online, getting familiar with the entire experience, time limits, everything, um, and taking it a few times, you know, giving yourself that time to prepare using all the resources that you can. And even outside of official prep, you can, you know, watch movies with subtitles on. You can do the opposite so that you can read in, right. in English. Um, listen, listen to podcasts. Right, listen uh, to podcasts, music in English. There's a lot of, go on social media, there's a lot of communities out there that are practicing their English together, preparing for tips. Reddit has a great community out there for TOEFL. Um, so really use the resources around you and, you know, always, Come back to ETS and come back to TOEFL's website. Know that we have the prep there that will really help you uh, to feel confident and prepared for the test. I've heard there's actually um, Discord channels for people wanting to practice their speaking with each other. So there's there's a lot of resources out there. We like to say official official prep is the best prep. Our our prep is the questions are you know the real test has questions right. that we that we provide. Um, so you definitely want to start there. Yeah. I'm glad that you mentioned the Discord channels, Ryan, because I remember back in the day when I was on the Discord, like trying to figure out how to like crack the TOEFL exam. So very good resource, you guys. Before we move on to the next question, I 
first of all, I love all the engagement that we're getting in the comments. Keep it going, guys. Keep asking questions. We'll get to that. Yes. But I also so want to remind. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Argentina. And, you know, I know. We have Brazil, Argentina, with so many qu countries. Keep, keep dropping your flags, too. We want to know where everybody is from. So I love all the engagement. Um, also, a quick reminder to just, like, keep note of the highlights of this session that you really like share them on social media you might win fifty dollars in a visa gift card so say stay tuned until the end of the session and just share this with a friend or with anyone in the process of college applications um then you'll earn money so like that's great <laughs> okay so next question how can i develop my speaking my speaking is weak you're not alone there. Speaking and writing are typically the, the most difficult skills for a, an English learner to master. Um, but we have, we have lots of resources for that. Our official uh, guide to the TOEFL IBT test has a lot of speaking um, tips, tips yeah. in there. Um, what else we get? TOEFL Go, again, has a, our speech rater with, with feedback. You can get feedback on your speaking. Um, as you go, as, as you practice. I think something else that we've heard too that I think is a really great tip is those that have used our practice uh, items and they've taken the speaking, they've recorded themselves. Record yourselves a few times, say, reading the passage, and that really seems to help build the confidence too. So when you get into the test, you've already done it a bunch of times. So I think that's a good way for you to kind of play it back, listen how you sound, play for others. You know, I think kind of Building a community around learning English um, really, really does help. And I think, you know, the more you do it, the better you get, right? right? So if you know someone who speaks English, you know, fluently or stronger than you do, you know, strike up a conversation or, like we said before, you know, find a group online uh, where you can practice. For sure. And don't, don't have too much anxiety with speaking to someone that, you know, you feel speaks better English than you to make a mistake or if you, like, fear... Your pronunciation is so good like this is how you learn i practice incessantly for maybe like 10 years and this is like this is why my english um was able to improve so much over time right and, but and also, you don't have to be perfect, right? exactly exactly yeah. you don't have to be perfect <laughs> like nobody nobody minds if you make a grammatical mistake here and there like you you speak your mind um also recording yourself on a voice note app is really helpful i did that so so much like in college if I wanted to write an essay for tests like anything like that so a little a little tip from a former college student um, okay next question is from at you 1324 how can I best prepare for the tests in a short time period yeah so I think that's another you know that we've been talking about here is just you know giving trying to give yourself enough time to really prepare um, and to feel confident I mean some might feel that they're ready and they could do it and they don't need that much of the time, um, but give yourself enough time. So, you know, using our resources, taking the free practice test, you, taking TOEFL practice online, that is really where you're going to get that full experience um, and see how confident you are, see what the score is, see, see what it comes out to be, and then, you know, see what areas you, you can focus on. Yeah, I think, I think even if you like went to school and you you learned English in school like you still should get familiar with the TOEFL the TOEFL test itself and the structure and the content and the question types and everything like that so taking a taking a practice test and uh, practice sets and trying out our academic discussion questions um, things like that is, is really good to do all right so the next question is where is the best place to practice a TOEFL IBT test are there any free materials available? Yep. So they're currently all on our website. Um, we also have a YouTube channel with plenty of videos out there that goes deeper into the TOEFL IBT test, um, the formatting, the structure, content, and then obviously, as we, I think, plugged here enough times with TOEFL practice online, it's really that full experience. So, um, and TOEFL Go. And TOEFL Go. Check out TOEFL Go. TOEFL Go. You're going to like it. It's really cool. Sure, right. Can you speak more about TOEFL Go for those of members of the audience that aren't so familiar with that? I mean, well, <laughs> put me on the spot. Um, TOEFL Go, it's, 
it's a little bit of everything. I mean, Sherry spoke on it a little bit before, but you get you get performance feedback, you get um, coaching, coaching all four skills. Uh, there's you know the same like the same way you're being rated on, on the test, you're being rated in TOEFL Go. So like, with speech, with writing, um, things like that, you can get you can get kind of a, a really good idea of uh, your current your current level and your current performance and yeah. what you need to focus on, what you might need to improve upon uh, for test day. Yeah, I think that feedback's really important, yeah. right? So you can sure. see, you know, and getting a little bit deeper into how, what your performance means and, and where you can improve so that you can focus in certain areas. I mean, hey, if you've mastered speaking already, you don't need to spend enough, as much time there, right? So focus on the other areas where you really need to focus and where you're not doing as well as you would like. We all have strengths and weaknesses, and really, when it comes to TOEFL, time management, preparing, it's really about finding out what your weaknesses are, finding out what your strengths are, and dividing up your time so that you can, you know, right. tighten your strengths. Right. Do, do great on test day. Yeah. Awesome. What about feeling confident on test day? Yes, it is. Confidence helps so much. Just take a breather, have a good breakfast in the morning. Yes. And yeah, and don't yeah. cram, not to cram. Exactly. You know, give yourself breathe in the morning. You know, I think we've um, heard from a couple of our, you know, when we've done some of these sessions, not live, this is our first live session, but when we've done some of our info sessions with, with studying the USA, I think those are some of the tips, you know, give yourself, you know, don't be cramming in the morning, flashcards and that, you know, great breakfast, great sleep, and, you know, know that you're, that you're going to do great. The next question that we have is, what is the advantage of TOEFL over, over IELTS? Some of the advantages of TOEFL over competitors and over IELTS is it's shorter, it costs less, we're accepted by more institutions around the world, we have more test centers, and you can also take the TOEFL IBT test at home. So we have the home edition. So you can take it at a test center or you can take it at home, whatever more comfortable and convenient for you. It's the same test either way. Okay. Okay. So the next one is, what is a TOEFL IBT exam for? Oh, oh, you can use it for all sorts of things. Um, mostly study, um, undergraduate study, graduate study, uh, doctorate programs. Um, you can use it to apply for some study visas. Uh, some immigration and uh, work. Uh, we just we heard recently that a K-pop star uh, actually used the TOEFL IBT to get into an elite Korean military unit. Yep. So I mean, there's there's twelve thousand institutions all over the world that accept that accept the TOEFL IBT. So you can do a lot of things. Absolutely, and I see a comment there saying immigration. Um, yeah, that's also another another way to use the TOEFL IBT. Um, I've heard of some people actually being asked to submit a TOEFL IBT score to job applications. And so, you know, um, all these things. But the next question that we have is, does the official prep course cover the new writing for an academic discussion? Yes, it does. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Check it out. If you didn't know, there is, there is a prep course. Um, that's pretty good. All right. So, does any anyone else have any other questions for today? Be sure to submit it in the comments. Um, but we'll just, while you guys do that, we'll, oh yeah, go ahead. We'll also just say, you know, really check out the website. It has all of our prep there. Take the TOEFL practice online. Take some courses. Engage in some communities. Um, give yourself time to to practice and prepare, and you know, plan, make a plan. Plan ahead know when your deadlines are, know when you want to take a test, know if you have enough time for if you didn't get the score that you wanted to and you know your institution requires a certain score and that's what you're aiming to get, give yourself enough time if you're going to have to retake, uh, if you want to retake it. So I think really having a plan is really important, utilizing the prep, the prep resources and materials, um, attending, following us on social and attending you know some of these live sessions is always a great way to get some some helpful tips and strategies and things that you might not you know be finding on your own so it's always a good idea to check with your target institutions 
uh, for their, their websites for their requirements. Uh, things things can change, um, and then also if you're if you're applying for a, a you know teaching assistantship or a research assistantship, uh, the scores can be different. The requirements can be different for that. So it's always good to check the the institution websites, the university websites, to see what they're what they're asking for. Oh, we have another question. Okay, so how long are TOEFL scores valid? Two, Great question. Two years. Two years. All right. Well, um, if I'll wait for a little bit for more people to submit more questions. Oh, we have another one. <laughs> you can come, guys. So five minutes. Yes, we have five more minutes. So write out all your questions. We'll try to get to every single one. Okay, so we had someone in the comments. This is at Banu Goldstein. Oh, oh, okay. So at Banu Goldstein says that she took the TOEFL test today. That's awesome. How did it go? Were you nervous at all? Like what? Like, tell us about it. Let us okay. know how you did. Let us know you what did. you thought. Yeah. Um. Oh, Valeria, on top of that, uh, just because we had somebody take the test today. So congratulations. Very proud. Woo! Wish you all the best and success. Um, at the end of taking your TOEFL IBT test, you're now provided a, a date. You can see the date for when you can expect your official scores. So I think that's a great feature too, for you to be able to say, okay, you can calm yourself down. You have the date in mind. You can go about your business. And, so you're not sitting there anticipating and waiting. We can now tell you when you can expect those scores. No, and they and they also get to you like super quickly. Um, I took, yeah, I took the TOEFL not too long ago, maybe I don't know about a year ago. Um, and I remember within, I I don't I actually don't remember the, the timeline, but I was it, I remember it being like very quick. So it it's not a huge anxiety of like just like waiting for exact for for the test scores for like months, and you're like, oh my god, I hope I passed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and we also just wanted to uh, mention too that at. Uh, you know, at the end of the test, you also see your unofficial reading and listening scores, and you have so you have an opportunity to see, you know, kind of gauge how you did, um, which I think is another great feature. Start making your dream come true. Still, your broad dreams. Attend your dream university, and TOEFL wants to be part of your journey. You won't regret it. Good luck, you guys. Yes. Good luck to everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks. For we had so much fun with you guys. Yeah, so, you. yeah. Thanks for joining everybody.